Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Okay, we took a small break and we took and just stoned along this edge here so we could take off the uh, the little burr there. And we're getting uh, 454. And our plate thickness is 490. So that leaves us um, 36 thousandths. We fed in 36 thousandths. We're real happy we... Uh, we got a real real nice smooth surface there we're happy with our dialing in and and squaring up the cutter and everything has just come out the way we planned it with the effort we gave it it, it came true so um here we are we're gonna fire it up all right we're gonna feed down so we're gonna we're gonna let it be. It did give us a better finish to go ahead and go down the middle, come up on this side, go down on that side there. We feel good on our widths here, and this will this will at least give us finish on the on the depth, and 
after this, then we're going to back the part away. We're going to clean it up really good. And we're going to concentrate on uh, checking out the width and prepping out our plate that's going to go in there before we do any other work to this. All right, let's see what we got. <sighs> nice. Need a little bit of circular cut down in there, a little circular cut up here, a little circular here as well. So it that that cutter is cutting so nice and you can see a faint uh, fog here and a faint fog here you can see the center uh, line uh, here as well but there is absolutely no high spots or anything else in between there real real happy our plate is going to sit solid against there uh, for sure all right now we're going to go ahead and vacuum this up we're going to start cleaning this up we're going to start whittling down the plate that's going to fit in here we've had it over in the uh, bridge port and we've been uh, just kind of like hogging it down to size because it was uh, it was pretty close to a plate that you know setting it up in the saw right now uh, would just be um, a waste of time. So we're just hogging it off a little bit, sizing it down. All right, we're over there. We're getting close to milling our square. And our first side, we went ahead. Basically, we got a four by four uh, square. So we tr we milled our first side square, and we were using our calipers here, and and um, we we were given giving ourselves right at four and we came down right at four and the thing was a little loose in there so I decided to go ahead and uh, now they, there's one thing that's nice about the uh, import snap gauges versus like the sterrets where they're round on the body this has got a flat on it here and you can go ahead and you can get your snap gauges in here and you can hold your thumb right on there to hold it square and then you can go ahead and snap them just like you were doing your regular bore and then you can get a really nice reading right there and I'm getting four inches nine there and we're going to do it a couple times we're going to flip it around the other way as well there is a slight bit of I mean I went to zero each time but there's a little bit of uh, uh, raise on the on the insert there so the very tip has actually got uh, a proud uh, cutting edge compared to the rest all right so we got four inches eight there we had four inches nine so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start fitting our our block at at four inches nine and we'll check it and we'll, we'll We'll see how it feels inside here we want to just minimize any of the side to side play or anything else so that this thing the bolts and everything else should anchor this thing down and there's no thrust on this thing it's just up and down pull there's a counterweight on the whole system uh, so that it hangs so there's really uh, and this this actual this nut is actually on the top of the spindle uh, section here and not on the bottom so it's not like if you lost the counterweights uh, you're going to be hanging from this anyway you're not going to be supporting from underneath all right <clears throat> i got this this piece fit in here this was the first side i did and it i went to four inch because it measured with the calipers but uh, it shows you that it was a little bit loose there and i wanted something and i massaged this so it just goes in there and it won't rock and it doesn't matter which way you want to go all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take a scotch Brite pad and clean up these two faces. It's coal roll, but it does have a, uh, a an atmosphere on it uh, from sitting around. And I want to be able to uh, lay it out and stuff like that. And uh, But having a nice fit piece in here feels good out here. Alright, so now we have a new working surface to get our hole pattern. We need the original holes in here. We need the radius for the bearing. And the four holes to mount the bearing the two that are in here and the two that are broken off and then we're going to have probably four uh, screw uh, put in here to actually help hold this plate as part of the machine 
and this is going to be a replacement piece in here that will take place of the damage that was broken out here and here. All right, I got the plate C clamp in place there. Okay, now I've reached in through the opening here. I'll get a light and I'll get you down in here. But I was able to transfer punch one of the two bearing holes from the back side. Now we're going to take that and we're going to go set up on that hole and we're going to get a through hole uh, drilled through there at the uh, minor diameter of the threads. Um, and then that way I can go ahead and slide a, a pin in there that will locate that plate so that I can continue, I can move my clamp from the other side and mark that hole. Once I have those two holes marked and um, in, in the middle there, I'll be able to pick up the other two matching holes and pinpoint that center radius that we need to mill into that plate. Okay, we set our uh, coaxial indicator up into the machine here. Our center point from the transfer punch that we punched into this plate and the scribe line that we reached in there and scribed on, on, on the back side of there just kind of give us an idea. We got the plate facing up. We've got that in there. We've got a stop set up here so we can repeat into this location here and when we mount it in after we get this hole done we'll be able to locate the plate in there and then we're going to work one hole at a time until we get it fixed okay so i think uh we just got this one direction here to go ahead and tune in all right all right we're calling that zero we're going to lock and then we then after you lock your play in this in this mill here you got to kind of like just tune it in just a little bit more All right, we like that. All right, we pull this out, we put in our drill. And we're gonna drill it out for the minor diameter of that 5 16 And we have to shut our door, we got a downpour of rain. Okay, we'll put just a little tiny chamfer on there, and then we're gonna go stick it back in the uh, in the hole there. All right. Okay, we should be able to slide this right in our spot here and. Down here close to, there we go, slips right in there. So our transfer punch was really good through our opening in our hole. And this hole is not, you know, <clears throat> we went, normally 5 16 has got a, uh, um, was it an F, like a 257 or so. We went with a quarter inch, uh, 250. Most of the time the drill drills about a thou or so larger anyway. And But we're, we're actually, that locates that pretty good. There's not a whole bunch of play right there. All right, now we can go ahead and put our clamp on here and we're gonna transfer punch the other one there. Okay, this is, this is looking down in the hole and I'm sliding the pin out. All right, you should be able to see the daylight in there and I'm slipping the pin back in there. Okay, so I've got that clamped up there and I'm just proving that uh, we, have, we have a good hole location there. Okay, I uh, I gotta answer that. Hey, baby. Hey. Uh, I had to laugh. That was Vanessa, and she found a shirt for me to wear to California to Stan's event there. Um, all right. <clears throat> what um, we have this here, and we transfer punch that, but we want to verify 
we want to verify that our block and our hole pattern and everything else is square. If it is, then we can do a lot of things on this by just knowing uh, where, the, where it's at and it being square. So we take the difference of uh, coming in here and that's like 1 900 and one of these holes here is um, 3 8 so that's going to be that's going to be uh, <clears throat> that's going to be like 2 275 all right so we'll go ahead and put that in there All right, and we zeroed it out on that hole, so we're just gonna come over here two inches 275 And we're gonna come down into that center punch hole right there All right come down to our line there. All right, and are we on here? We'll just zero it out and then we're gonna look at the readout and we'll see how far we actually are okay I kind of like that right there okay we're uh, we're within five thousands on our x-axis and we're at uh, 264 um, in and out so it, it uh, real I mean two about ten thousands ten thousands on the width and five thousands on the height uh, so we can just about say that we are square as far as uh, side to side I mean, you know vertically because we're, we're not off uh, about five thousands there um, That's pretty good Okay, we, <clears throat> we put our plate back up here. We got both of these sliding nice and free. I just, I, I lightly tap it up and down until I know that I've got good free movement here. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap from the other side through those threaded holes to time the threads in on this plate here. So we got uh, the clamp holding it up here. We're gonna do one hole at a time. So we'll do this one over here first. All right, so let's go set up and get on the other side and uh, these are these are five sixteenths national course cap screws, uh, socket head cap screws, um, and that's what holds in a nut. But we're gonna the next hole we're gonna line is the one for the bearing, and we want to locate that in reference to the radius in on the existing part, and then come in and create our mark on this plate here where that center is gonna be, and we want to do that with these thread both of these threaded bolts in there and um, uh, tighten down just showing or, or holding this in exact location there we'll do that center hole and then we'll do the other two holes that hold that in and then after that then we'll go ahead and we'll finish securing all the rest of the holes that are in this plate but uh, we want to work those four uh, four mounting holes for the bearing and the center bearing hole and uh, because that we want to play with as much meat as we can get down here on those lower holes that uh, were on those ears that were broken off so that's uh that's the plan there let's uh let's head over to the other side <laughs> 